So tell us why you're here. I have a lot of tooth sensitivity kind of down in my lower right side. I get a lot of muscle tenderness, and back of my jaw as well, or back head as well, really tender. Um, and I've noticed when I go to yawn, sometimes my jaw will pop and gets really sore and sensitive. How long has it been going on the popping? The popping is a little bit more new. That's probably been within last month or two. But as far as tenderness down in my lower jaw, that's been off and on for probably three years or so. Um, they've looked, no abscesses, nothing they broken. Mean other dentists? Other dentists, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and why did you go in to see them? What, what prompted you to see them? I just had some toothache, you know, just some tenderness going on down there and went in, got an x-ray done, tried to see what was going on and didn't see anything alarming or anything that would make them think, oh, you've got a cracked tooth or root canal or anything along those lines. So it's just one of those things that they told me I'm, I have to deal with. Okay. Um, did you ever wear braces? I did. How long ago? Um, I've been out of braces for about four years. About four years. Mm -hmm. And this problem started how many years ago? Uh, probably about three. About three. So mm -hmm. about a year later. Mm -hmm. Prior to braces, did you have any problems with the popping and clicking or the sensitive teeth or any of that? Any of this going on back then? Nothing that I can think of, but, you know, I don't remember any issues with it. Okay. If, if you uh, are handed a piece of gum, can you chew it naturally and normally? It makes my jaws really tender up in here, and I tend to not chew on my right side. I'll chew more on my right side, but I on do. Your right side or, or left sorry, side? on my left side. I try not to chew on my right because that's where a lot of the tenderness is. I'll chew on my left, um, but it does make you know my cheeks feel really tender and really sore. Can you point exactly to where it feels tender when it happens, or is it as far of... as the cheeks? Yes. Yeah, it's a lot, just right in this area. Um, they had built me a splint before to kind of stay propped open, um, and I wore that, but it seemed to cause more sensitivity kind of in a localized area down here on the bottom right. I mean, it kind of relieved my cheeks, but it made my tooth worse, so. Do you ever have any pain in your neck? I do. I, I like, at the base of my neck, I do, and I feel like every time I go to the chiropractor, that's, like, a main area that I really have to get focused on because I do get really tender in the neck and everything. It hurts open? Really wide. When you open really wide, it's sore. My it's my left side feels worse. Really? Or gets really tender. That's where the popping is. Is on my left side when I open really wide. So yawning sucks. Does it pop every time you yawn? Not every time. Um, some days it does. Some days it doesn't. But it's really tender all the time when I yawn. When you wake up in the morning, do you have trouble like opening? Is it kind of like you have to work it open, or is it just naturally no big deal? You don't think about it? Yeah, I can just. I, I just don't think about it, but it's tender when I do it. Like, it's very, I mean, it's sore. In the morning, too mm -hmm. open. Yeah, and even during the middle of the day, like, just right then, opening really wide, you know. Like, okay. that's comfortable, but I can open wider. It's just really so it's sore. Like, that's, that's ubiquitous. That's almost all the time. Mm -hmm. okay. It's getting where it's much more frequent. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one more time. Good. Your left side is the worst side, right? Yeah, that's where I tend to feel the popping at. See, based on this, you're a Piper 3A. And I will show you real quick what 3A means. Basically, beyond this line, mm -hmm. 300 number here, mm -hmm. all this waveform to the right of that on mm -hmm. the graph is suggested that you're a little bit of heart tissue on heart tissue, like bone on bone or right. cartilage. It's not quite doing its job. Right. Separating your bones, okay? Versus your right side, there's almost nothing to the right of the 300. And that's a good thing. That's how it should be. This is healthy, yeah. This is suggestive that it's not so healthy. It's not definitive and it's not 100% accurate, but it's a very good screen. Okay, do me a favor, take a swish of that ice water. Swish it around for about 10 seconds. Does it feel sensitive to you? I just get some sensitivity down here on the lower right side. Everything else feels pretty good. It's always down here on the lower right side. On the right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so on a scale of 0 to 10, can you fill out that form for me? That's probably a 7 as far as when I swish around and everything. And explain any S's that you might have. Okay. 
Um, I always drink through straw. It's not necessarily for pain because, I mean, it touches it anyways. But um, it does tend to kind of dissipate pretty quickly. Too sensitive to space? Mm-hmm. Let's see. And I do feel like I'm sensitive kind of just all in this lower right area. It feels like it's more my second, you know, like my number 30 tooth, but it's just all in that area down there. Okay. And I do feel like my cheek and jaw muscles are very tight. And that the gum, the gum does make my jaw tired. And I do feel like I'm a clencher if my teeth touch together. So I do try to keep my teeth apart. Okay. Um, and I do stick my tongue in between there to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, what about in the lower section? Do you have any? Let's see. Any pertain? It's not unbearable when they touch. It's more for my muscle and to keep from clenching sure. is why I do that. So I, go ahead. You don't feel it's a yes? Um, like I said, I don't feel like it's unbearable, but I feel like my jaws get very sore and I feel like I clench if I let them touch together. So I don't feel like it's unbearable, but it makes it very noticeable. Right. So, um, and I do think I feel like I know which tooth it is or at least really close in that area. And I don't open my jaw as far as I used to because it does get sore, you know, kind of pops and hurts. So your range of motion is limited mm -hmm. in the last, how, what period of time? It's increased in the last couple months um, as far as the popping and the tenderness. Um, but I, I would say just range of motion period has probably decreased within the last year or so. But the popping part of it's a relatively new thing that's just kind of happened within the last couple months. Okay. So. Go ahead for me, Keith. Do you ever get soreness in the muscles here? Yeah, just like right here at the base, I get lots of tenderness. How about the opposite side? On both sides. Both mm -hmm. sides. Temples? Yes. Tightness up here on both Thank sides? Uh-huh. And also my cheek muscles right in here get really sore and tired from, you know, laughing, smiling, chewing gum, anything mm -hmm. really chewy, beef jerky, any of that. How about the back of your neck? Right here at the base, like right at the stem, I get sensitivity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have any kind of ear ringing in your ear? Or I do like occasionally, that? yeah. Um, primarily on the right side, but sometimes it happens in both. Okay. Mm -hmm. And headaches? Um, I feel like I just pass it off anymore, but it used, you know, they're very often, probably every other day I get, you know, either the tension, you know, temple headaches or base of my neck headaches. Okay. And I've always just been told, oh, this tension headaches and kind of passes off. And I try not to take any medication for it because any more Advil, Tylenol just doesn't always seem to touch it. It's still there. So I try to overlook it. <laughs> okay. All right. Keep them hard. Clench together hard. Open. Clench together hard and open. See the way they're, they're firing, then they shut down for a moment and uh -huh. they fire again. All four of them do it simultaneously. Your right temporalis is a little bit shorter about it. So that's a normal thing? Silent periods are a good thing. Good. Before the muscle commits to clenching it, the brain's testing. Make sure it doesn't bust the tooth. Oh. Like on a strawberry seed or something? Yeah. That's nature's way of us not having a real problem. Because pre-modern medicine, you break a tooth, it can kill you over right. time. You'll get infection and what have you, and be up a creek. And your resting values are not terrible, they're a little bit off. Bite home really hard. Go up to the right, then open. Bite home hard. Go left, then open. Thank you. Relax. When I palpate back here, does that feel sore? Mm -hmm. That's your right pterygoid. Very sore. How's this side? Sore also. This is Not bad. as bad, but it's very, I mean, they're both sore, but right was worse. Got it. Okay. Right home. Go up to the right.
question. Very comfortable. Like you said, I don't feel like I have to keep my tongue in between my teeth to keep everything loose, relaxed. It? Yeah. It's very comfortable, like very relaxed, like in my cheeks and stuff. Because that's not, I always feel tons of like tension in here when just like basic movements and smiling and stuff. And it's very relaxed feeling. Okay. How's your neck feel? Move your neck around. Really relaxed too. I mean, normally I'm, it's tender and I always want to pop and crack filling and I don't have that sensation. Looking down is a lot better too. I don't have a pinch filling right there at the base of my neck. What do you think? Overall, very good. <laughs> very happy. <laughs> let's give it some time and we'll see if we're getting better. All right. Scale zero to ten. I, I mean, I don't really feel anything. You know, down here was where my biggest problem was, and before is probably a seven. I think, if anything, maybe a one. Like I, I'm not feeling anything down there, so it's it's you know, a lot rest better. Of, half an hour ago, before we started, the rest of your teeth were sensitive too. It was mostly just that. It was primarily left. in the lower right. I mean, the rest of them were nothing. Terrible. Terrible sensitivity wise. Are they less sensitive now, the rest less of them? Less sensitive than what they were, yeah. Um, including that one that was in Including particular? that one down there on the right side, because I've had problems with that one probably for three years. And that, I mean, I don't have any sensitivity down there. Like, I don't feel anything. Okay. And opening feels a lot more relaxed get a range as well. Of motion. And actually, it'd be a really good idea to get a JVA. Let's do a post op JVA real quick. Because you were a 3A. I want to see if this change. Is that pretty bad? Mm -hmm. I don't feel um, the tension that I felt the first time because you like open it as wide as you can and there was kind of a pinch to it and okay. I don't feel the pinching pain so how's the pop in the foot pain? no pop or anything feels better uh huh Lucy. yeah mm -hmm. alright here we go you were a 3A on which side before? left Uh, I hate to tell you, but it's gone. Darn. Darn. <laughs> so that was your lateral pterygoid pulling on your cartilage, your condylar intercapsular cartilage. It is now gone. Good. That's amazing. That's not even, I don't even know if that's published. Really? Yeah, that's a big deal. Wow. That's a huge deal. I mean, it feels a lot better. I mean, I feel a lot more relaxed and comfortable. That's pretty cool. 